Well, I've been working my way around this Nuxt application, testing the various aspects of it. And today we're going to look at how we can test plugins. More importantly, I'm going to test this Vutify plugin here. So we're going to need to mock the define Nuxt plugin method. We're also going to need to mock this create Vutify method. We're going to have to mock all of these imports and we're going to have to mock the Nuxt app and the view app use method as well. So let's go and see how we can pull all of this together and unit test a Nuxt plugin. Good morning, good afternoon, or good evening, whenever it is that I find you and welcome along to the channel. So we're going to look at testing this Vutify component or plugin for Nuxt today. So I've gone ahead ahead of time and created a plugins folder inside my tests and I've created a beautify.test.typescript file and put the basics of a test into here and I'm just restoring all mocks after each test. So if we look at our plugin, the very last thing that we do is utilize the Nuxt app and we look for a view app property in that and that has a use method on it that we pass the plugin that we want to add into our Nuxt application. So we need to go and mock all of this out so that we can verify that that's all being called. So let's add a mock for the view use and let's also add a mock for the Nuxt app. And as you can see, I'm adding a view app property in there and that view app has a use method on it and we're plugging that mock in as being the method that gets called for that use method and then we've got this global method here which we don't import it's auto imported so we need to go and add that in and mock that out as well so how can we do that we can mock the hash imports and return an object that defines the Nuxt plugin and we set that up as a define Nuxt plugin mock so let's go and add that define Nuxt plugin mock as well. So that is just a function that takes a method that calls back and it calls back that function passing in the Nuxt app is the important consideration here. Hence, when you call this, you get passed back a Nuxt app object. So that's those two mocked. And this is pretty much the basics that you're gonna need um, because this is the basic makeup for any given plugin you're always going to need to be mocking the Nuxt app and you're always going to need to be mocking the Define Nuxt plugin as well. From this point on, we are specific now for our test. So we are doing Vutify. So we're going to create a Vutify mock. We're going to mock the Vutify import and override the create Vutify method and pass that our mock. So in here, we're overriding this method here so that that calls our mock instead and create Vutify comes from the Vutify import, which we're also mocking. We've also got two other imports in here, which are the components and the directives, Vutify components, Vutify directives. So we need to mock those as well so that they exist for our unit test. So let's go and add those. So exactly like that. Now we can create our system under test, which we can do by calling import and we're just navigating our way up the hierarchy to the Vutify TypeScript file, so here. And now that we've got our system under test, we can actually just call our system under test to execute the plugin and run our test. Now this is giving us a, a linting error, so we can just quick fix that to get rid of that linting error, because this is fine, we know what we're doing. and once we've called our system under test, we need some assertions. So we expect our define Nuxt plugin mock to be called once. We expect our view use to be called once. Remember view use is this method. And we expect our create Vutify, so this equally to be called just the once for this particular test. So that gives us some assertions that we can run. And then the final thing that we need to do is come over to our VTest and 
import the define Nuxt plugin into the auto imports. We import another object which auto imports the hash imports and inside that array we say that we want the define Nuxt plugin to be auto imported from the hash imports import. We save that and now if we come back over to our test and we save this and I've got npm run test already running down here so let's save that and we can see that our Vutify test has passed successfully. And just out of interest, if your plugin does take a long time to initiate down here, you can just put a maximum timeout value that you want to allow. And obviously we're only doing the basics here in terms of the assertions that we're doing. So we're only verifying the, the number of times that methods are, are actually called. But obviously we could go crazy in here to verify some of the properties that uh, we can make sure that the theme is passed in, etc., etc. So hopefully you found that useful, but let me know in the comments, are you unit testing your plugins this way? If not, how are you unit testing your Nuxt plugins? And with that, I just need to thank my sponsors and I'll see you in the next video. Thanks for watching.